Hey guys, welcome to my eighth auto encoding tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make status bars in your GUI, which is pretty cool. It's just like it's just like adding like a label that changes, that updates throughout like if you're doing something, but I don't know, I just like them better and I thought I'd show you. So um if you don't need it, like we will just need like a small GUI. We won't really need a big one. So, first off, we'll make it in our GUI maker, it doesn't have to be very big. Like, that's fine. And we'll add a button in there. Start to. That will st it will start a loop. I'll show you. Just start like that, and then just exit it and save it as something. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now we're gonna open it up in the um, uh, script editor. That's from before. And just open it up real fast. Blah blah. Right there. And we'll need to include one file in this. I'll zoom in. GUI status bar dot AU3. That's it. It's for the status bars. Okay, well, here's our GUI. Make sure everything's good. Wow, for once, everything is good. Alright, um. Now for our status bar. Hold on. Set our state. Alright, for our status bar, it's just gonna be. Um. GUI. Like underscore first, underscore, and then GUI control status bar create. Oops, that is bar create like that, and then um this that variable is the GUI, so it's just gonna be main. I didn't set it yet, so I have to do it real fast. So that variable equals the GUI, and the variable needed here is the just the GUI, like the variable used for the GUI, which is main in my case. And that's it. You don't need to add any of the extended information. And I'll just go ahead and show you what it looks like. That's it right there. It's It just stays that color. I don't know if you can change it, but I don't. Um, and we're just going to set some text in there that will be um, changing throughout when we press the start button. So we're just going to do um, GUI. Oops. Control status bar set text. Where is it? There it is. Set text and then again. Wait, oops. This is gonna be our status. I forgot. Wow, I forgot to use it. Variable. Okay, and then um, for this it needs the variable of the status bar that we created, so it's status. And then the text that you want. Um Just say um, our number. Wow, took a lot, long time to think about that. And then see, here it is right here. And we'll just do this. All right. And then it's just gonna go right here and update periodically after the start button is clicked. All right. And um, here's our while statement, which pulls the GUI for the get message. GUI get message. So if we click that uh, start button, it will become a function. So here's our function for our start button. Um, it's gonna be a let's see, like, yeah, it's gonna be a simple do and until statement. But first, we're gonna have an, uh, a variable equal something first. R equals one, and then now we're gonna have our do statement. Do R um, plus no wait 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 do and then it's gonna be R equals what is R currently? It's 1 right there. But the new R is going to equal the current R, which is 1, plus 1. So it's going to step up 1 each each time until um, R equals 10. So it's going to... R equals 1. And then in the do statement, it will be added... Um, R, the R will equal plus 1 every time. So... It equals one right now. Now it's going to equal two, and then again three, and then again four until it equals ten, and then it's going to stop and function. And um, we're going to add our status bar updating. So um, every time it adds a number, it will, we're going to see it on the status bar. So it's just going to be GUI control status bar set text. There it is. And then. It's going to be status, the status bar we're using. 
and then the text is just gonna be like the basic same up there our oops, number and now it's gonna have something next to it which will be that variable whatever that equals um, at that time like that and we'll just test it out right now so right now r equals one and when this starts this do and until the loop it will keep adding one so it will be like this oh it's so t it's too fast um, sleep um, there we go we added a delay in there oops it started at two because it already equal one so we're just gonna do equal zero so you can see the one happen okay ready one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right see it stopped not because it equals ten and you do you do that until it equals ten so I thought that was pretty cool to teach you um, I like them a little better than um, just having a label get updated so um, I hope you enjoyed my eight tutorial on status bars um, view my other, t other tutorials as well they're pretty cool and please rate and comment if you have any questions PM me whatever and subscribe if you like my other tutorials and videos see you next time <laughs>